Hi, I'm incredibly excited that we'll be doing a Google Plus Hangout with you. So what we want to do is put together this quick video training to take you step by step with everything you'll need to know in order to make your Google Hangout a complete success. So what we want to do is first show you, if you haven't already, how to create a Google Plus profile. So you'll need a Google Plus profile in order to enter the Hangout. And then what we want to do is show you how to circle your Hangout organizer so that you make sure that you get the invitation when it's time to start and then we'll teach you how to install an on-air meetings app that'll make you look like a hangout rock star and then what we'll do is we'll show you how to adjust your settings for your webcam just in case you have a few extra settings sometimes computers do sometimes there's two cameras an external camera and an internal camera we'll make sure that you understand how to choose the right camera and the right sound quality for your hangout and then what we'll do is we'll teach you how to join a meeting so we'll do a quick mock meeting with you and what we want you to do is pause the training video here so that you can actually do exactly what we're showing you so you'll be completely prepared and then we'll show you how to look like a rock star by giving you some tips and tricks and do the perfect Google Hangout. So let's jump in and talk about how to create a Google Plus profile. So all we have to do is open up a browser and go to google.com. Now the reason you need a Google Plus profile is because the only way for the organizer for us to invite you is to email you and put your email in the actual invite box in a Google Hangout. And so we need either a corporate email or a Gmail account in order to do that. And those both those emails would be tied directly to your Google Plus profile. So when you're at google.com, all you have to do is click sign in. So if you already have a Gmail account, you don't have to worry about a thing, but if you haven't registered one, or you've got a Google Plus profile, you can simply click and then simply fill out the information here, your name, username, password, and a few small details down here along with the captcha. Click I agree and then Google will actually create a Gmail account for you. Now if you already have that Gmail account, then simply you're going to click sign in and I'm just going to type in my password and click sign in. So it doesn't have to be a Gmail account, it can be a corporate account, but it has to be registered with Google. And you can see on the left hand side here, it changed from the word you to your name. And so if I click on in the top left corner, your name, and you're gonna see here that our Google Plus profile comes up. And then we're gonna click on home and we're gonna go to Google Hangouts. And it's gonna take us to the Hangout on here. And you can see we're gonna start a Hangout about 15 minutes before our meeting. And you can see a dialog box is going to pop up. We're going to name our Hangout. We're going to put name our Hangout. And then we're going to put your Gmail account in here or your registered email that you've given us. Now, what we might do to make it easier is we're going to give you possibly one of our Gmail accounts and then you can log into our own account. So if you don't have a Gmail account, then uh, just uh, take a look at the email we sent you. We might be sending you our own. So it's just easier that way if you log in um, with ours and then we can connect that way. So it's just a temporary account that we'll create for you and that'll make things super easy. But if you'd like to use your account and you're really uh, equipped with Gmail and you know how to use it or you've got a good registered uh, account with Google, then simply when we put your email in here, it's gonna send you an invitation. Now, the next thing you wanna do is when we send you an invitation, you're going to want to open up your browser, log into your Gmail, register Gmail account, and then look at the email we sent you. There'll be a link inside it. Just click on it. It'll instantly take you into the Hangout. So it's really that easy. So all you have to do is when we're ready to go, we're going to send you an invitation. You're going to log in using your Gmail account or the Gmail account that we gave you along with the password. Log in look for the email that you're invited to the Hangout and then click on the link and it'll automatically bring you right in. So now if we're gonna send you an invitation and you're not gonna use one of our Gmail accounts, one of the next things you have to do is actually circle us because here's what we find. We find that if we are not circling each other um, in a Google Plus profile, then sometimes the invitation doesn't go out. That's why the safest way is for us to create a Gmail account for you. But again, if you'd like us to send you an invitation to your own Gmail or register corporate account, then make sure you circle us and let me explain how to do that. And we're going to click on your profile. And so let's give the example that um, John Smith is actually the organizer that we sent you. So what you wanna do is in the top of your Google Plus search bar here, once you're logged in, you wanna put John Smith. 
and you can see there's a lot of John Smiths. So make sure that you click the one that has our photo or the organizer's photo on there and let's say it's this one down here. Now when you do that it's going to take you to John Smith's profile. Now you're going to see add to circles. All you do is hover over and you can check off as an acquaintance and now you circle the organizer. Now when you circle the organizer again what we find is that uh, Google immediately sends the invitation to the hangout when you're circled. It might take a lot longer if it's not circled. So simply again to circle us type in the name of the organizer here when you're logged into your Google Plus profile it'll take you right to the Google Plus profile of our organizer and then hover over and just circle them and you can click on any box it really doesn't matter and then we're instantly going to be connected begin a relationship with our Google Plus profiles and then when we send an invitation to you it'll go right to you so at this point you know how to create a Google Plus profile and you know how to circle your hangout organizer the next thing we want to do is have you install an on-air meetings app and this app is going to make you look like a rock star so below this video there is a link all you simply want to do is click on that link or the button below that says install on-air meetings app and it will instantly install the on-air meetings app and so what I like to do is I'm gonna click on it right now myself I want you to watch me install the app and then I want you to pause the video and I want you to click on the button just a few moments so you can install the app as well to prepare for our hangout so you can see here I've simply clicked on the button below this video and it took me to a page to start a hangout so I'll click start a hangout and what we want to do is install an app that makes and gives us these gorgeous CNN style lower thirds. You can see here it gives me a dialog box that says look do you want to add someone to the hangout. At this point I'm just going to click cancel and instantly you're going to see that on air meetings hangout needs your permission to start. So I'm going to click continue. It's going to open up a dialog box. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click accept and don't worry about those permissions they're just basic permissions to access the uh, video in the hangout and you can see some amazing things actually come up now it's also going to say look we need to allow access and now your on-air meetings on the left hand side will come up now if you've never been inside a hangout this is really your control panel on the left hand side where my browser is or my mouse is right now you can see here are all your apps you've got a chat app a screen share app, a capture app, an on-air meetings app, a YouTube app, some Google Drive, you got a lot of cool stuff. Now every time you click on an app on the right hand side you can see here these are your controls. So on the left hand side if I want to click on-air meetings you can see the controls pop up on the right hand side. If I click chat I can chat and put hi everyone now don't worry I'm doing a lot of screen recording right now so my audio is a little delayed as well as it's a little choppy because I have so much going on at one time this is not what your Google Hangout is going to be looking like so you can see here on the left hand side let me just go through a couple real quick the chat you can see what we did is we're able to chat with everybody else that's inside the hangout so we can go back and forth and share links if I click on the chat app if I click on the screen share app you can see that all the different things that are actually on my desktop come up right now so I can actually share um, any one of these windows with all the viewers and so if I want to unshare I simply just click screen share or I click it again to stop sharing and it goes right back to my video now you can see here on the on-air meetings app if I click on it we have some very cool things that happen one is called a lower third this is like a CNN or a Fox News a journalistic style look to your Google Hangout and if you can see we when we drop down we've got all kinds of lower thirds to choose from I'm gonna choose a CNN red it's kind of fun one so you can see I can put my name in here then my company name and then the topic and let's just put topic and then I'm gonna name it I'm just gonna put my title whoops and click save preset now you can see right below here it actually comes up my title and all I have to do is click the plus sign and you can see I look like CNN now it's reversed it's supposed to be reversed every graphic that you actually put up will always be reversed to you it's like looking through a glass mirror and so it's always going to be completely backwards but to the viewer there it'll be completely uh, correct so don't worry about that so it's supposed to be backwards and let me do a few other things so you can see 
Uh, let me choose another one. I'm going to choose a live red interview. So let's say I'm interviewing somebody. I want to choose this is a title interview. Click save preset. So you can see this one shows up. So you have both of them. So I can actually switch back from this one to that one. So very, very powerful when you're trying to communicate a message during the Hangout. So let's say you want everybody to go to your website. You can simply click Overlay and under Template you can choose let's say a black torn edge and you can put your website address in www.site.com click it at name it as my site click Save Preset and now when I'm talking say look everybody can go to mysite.com and you can see the lower third comes up here which allows the viewers to be able to see everything that you want to communicate with them. So if you have a quote, if you've got some steps, you've got some tips, um, you have really anything that you want to share uh, with your um, audience, you can put it in the lower third. Now there's also a custom box up here that allows you to upload any type of picture. If you've got before and after pictures, if you have a uh, image that kind of demonstrates uh, whatever product or service that you're trying to get across, you can simply upload the image and save it as a preset at the right time in the Hangout, you can actually reveal this. So it's a very powerful strategy. Now, um, it's a little bit more intricate, but for those of you that are more advanced, uh, the size of the image needs to be a 640 by 360 image to take up the entire image area. So let me show you one of those on a template. So if I was to scroll down and click intermission, and I'm just going to put test down here, you can see if I do this, it takes up the entire graphic and overlays over top of my video. And I can click hide graphics and I'm back. So you can see while we're doing an interview with you how powerful that we would like you to put this lower third in that really makes things look very highly professional because we want to do a, a great hangout with you and get some really great information into the marketplace. So that's how you actually load the on air meetings app. Simply click on the button below right now start a Google Hangout and then try it for yourself and then come back and then I'll teach you how to set up your webcam and your settings correctly yep you can pause it <laughs> okay well since you pause it and you're back here now let me show you how to set up your webcam and your audio settings so when we're in the Hangout in the top right corner here you can see scroll over I can actually click on settings by this little gear in the top right corner here. And when I do that, it gives me my webcam settings, my audio settings, and my speaker settings. So on every laptop or computer, you could have multiple uh, mics, you could have multiple cameras attached, you could have multiple speakers or headphones or, or anything that's really set up as a driver even inside your um, computer. So if you've actually got that set up and you're not hearing, your audio if you're not seeing the webcam come across it's probably because you don't have the right settings chosen so all you have to do again is come up to the right top side here click the gear open up the settings and you can choose whatever screen capture or even uh, webcam that you've got here's where your microphones are and here are your speaker settings as well obviously yours would be completely different than mine is but I've literally started to hang out And no one can hear me because for some reason it shows the external um, headset uh, jack and didn't actually do my internal uh, speakers or I'm sorry my internal mic and so uh, simply go up to the top right hand side here and you can actually change all your settings that way so that's it um, that's simply how to do it I want you to pause start a Google Hangout right now and you can see for yourself making sure your audio and your webcam is working perfectly now the next thing we want to teach you is how to uh, we're going to invite you and in how to actually join our Google Hangout and then I'm going to show you how to look like a Google Hangout rock star. So jump in, try it for yourself and we'll get into the next training. So now that you've learned all these things, the next thing we want to do is teach you how to join your meeting. So what we're simply going to do is go into a our Gmail account by going to our Google and signing in I'm gonna click on Gmail and then I'm simply going to do a search for a previous Google Hangout invitation so what happens is um, when we actually send you an invitation 
to the Google Hangout. We'll start one, we'll input your corporate email or your Gmail account, and then it will send you an invitation like this. It'll say the per our name, and then it's inviting you to join this Hangout. When you click on it, you'll see a photo of us, and then you'll see a saying join Hangout. You're simply going to click this, and instantly you'll join our Hangout. So look for this invitation, it's very easy. Now once you've joined a Hangout, obviously it'll look like this where we're uh, inside the hangout you won't be alone but you'll be with us here and the last thing I want to share with you is how to look like a Google Hangout rock star so just a few simple things that you can do to look amazing when you're live with us so let me give you a few pointers and then what we'll do is we'll look around YouTube at a few other hangouts and you'll be able to see what everybody else is doing wrong so first of all use lower third graphics like on air app you can see how just amazing it makes you look and just incredibly professional two is have your webcam eye level this is really important and the reason it's why important is it just makes it look like we're having a conversation see a lot of people will have their camera much lower and so they'll be looking down at the camera some will have it higher so they'll be looking up so you want to have it directly at eye level so when you're looking at the camera it looks like you're having a conversation with the audience and that'll be incredibly helpful when it comes to really communicating and and really having engaging with people that are watching now my next advice is to you is do not wear a headset or a mic that people can really see because it just looks incredibly unprofessional don't look like you're an air traffic controller uh, when you're on a Google hangout so if you've got one of those big sets just throw it away and the worst case scenario sometimes when there are multiple people on a hangout and it comes through your speakers you'll get that reverb or that echo so the way to do that is simply just use an earbud now the best way to use an earbud to make it look kind of cool and, and out of sight and let me show you this right here so here's an earbud very small you know we put them in our mp3 players and everything but simply what you want to do is you want to plug it um, into your uh, laptop or your desktop whatever you're using so plug it in and what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually put it behind you so if you throw, put it behind you and you can put it over your ear and just see if you can see it here. So now you're simply going to put it right in here and then kind of see how it fits in there, but it's behind me. So when I'm talking, you can't see it whatsoever. So you can see there, uh, that's um, how you would hide an earbud so that you can talk and you can have a conversation. So keep it eye level. Uh, don't have a big headset on <laughs> and then the next point is don't have any distractions behind you now you notice um, when I'm actually talking here uh, there are no distractions behind me because I've got a black wall behind me or simply what you want to do is get your laptop or your camera up against a white wall behind you you can do this very easily by just adjusting maybe some room in the house that you're going to be using uh, to do this but what you don't want to do is you don't have really anything behind you because anything behind you actually gives some type of distraction um, it can actually add a different um, suggestive tone to who you are and, and what you're doing as opposed to just something that's completely plain or black so my suggestion is always have a white background or a black background behind you any type of wall will do and uh, as you see we'll look at a couple hangouts uh, how people just really um, make themselves not look very good when they they're at a kitchen table or they're in their bedroom or they're even in their living room or they're even in their office but they got all kinds of mess everywhere and they think that's normal and maybe to their business that's normal but for somebody watching the hangout it's just not professional looking so it's much better to have absolutely nothing in the background either black or a simply white wall behind you uh, to really look good now the next thing you want to make sure that you do is simply to light your face with a small light now you can use really any type of light that you have in your house or your office but just make sure that you put a little light uh -huh, on the front of your face and make sure that you turn on the lights inside the room as well it'll help light that up now me I literally have no lights on in my office right now I just simply have a small light in front of me and you can go to any office store uh, office supply store and just get a small light and just put it on your desk and shine it in front of you 
because a lot of times that light comes from top down and not forward and the more light that you put on the face the clearer the more engaging you're actually going to be so just always try to do your best to get as much light in front of you as possible and literally um, a lot of um, monitors throw off a good amount of light too so that could actually light it up so but if you want to my suggestion is is just go to the office supply store get yourself a small little light and just put it on your desktop just during the hangout it'll definitely help and you'll see a difference now the last tip I want to share with you is the ability to look in the camera when you talk <laughs> very important now just let me uh, put it back to my screen so you can see um, now this is typically what most people do they look at their camera uh, and they watch themselves or they'll watch the organizer ask them questions or their monitor will be over in this direction and the whole time they're looking over here just not very engaging at all so you want to make sure now if you're gonna look at something um, that's okay wait if you're not talking but if you're gonna be looking while you're talking you want to make sure you look at the camera so you can see the difference between if I'm talking to you looking down or if I'm looking directly in the camera saying how much I really enjoy uh, doing a Google Hangout so you can see the difference the engagement of having a conversation directly into the camera itself so it just takes a little practice um, now if you want to um, when I first started uh, you can put a sticky note and just put look into the camera when you talk and then every time you see that sticky note it'll remind you that instead of looking down the whole time look directly into the camera so let's uh, do a quick review of all the tips first of all use lower third graphics make sure you have a webcam that's eye level obviously it makes it easier for the last point to look and talk into the camera when you talk so that it's eye level and it looks like you're having a conversation don't wear a big headset uh, don't have any distractions behind you send your body in the video and then light your face with a small light so what I want to do right now is actually go directly to YouTube and I picked out a couple different hangouts for you to take a look at and you tell me what they're doing wrong so you can see here um, this gentleman's using a lower third but right off the bat what what's wrong what do you see and let me just play a quick clip for you in a movie I mean that's really all all it comes down to and we've obviously had the little side treat okay so what do you see there let me point the first thing out great job of using a lower third you know him being an air traffic controller not so impressed with it also you can see that the camera is an eye level so we're looking up at his ceiling um, so we, he's also got some things in the background what do you see you see he's got um, a picture of uh, Pulp Fiction it looks like and so we're already making uh, assumptions about who he is and what he does based on his background um, in the uh, in the in the uh, image here so if we actually go scroll a little bit down the line here and see if we get somebody else here we go let's look at um... the fans wanted it if I created a Kickstarter okay now so you can see Mark using a lower third and you can see Mark's got a little bit of light on his face because of the screen showing but what's wrong with what's going on here he doesn't have a headset he's looking directly at the camera so good job Mark but what's the first assumption you're thinking in your head he's in bed right now it might not be bed who knows it might be the back of uh, some big uh, chair that's behind him but more likely he's in bed so we're making assumptions based on the fact that he's got something behind him so let's scroll a little bit more see if there's anybody else we can find in here oh there we go the copycat has a risen <laughs> There we go. Bring yourself we... so that people want to kind of follow you and what you're doing also. Right. Tied in with your podcast. It goes with Aaron and what he's saying about, you know, not just being a gaming person, talking about your family and stuff. People want to see. Okay, now do you see that? She actually looked at the camera. So she's got some light on her face. She, again, she's in her apartment or her home or whatever that is. You can see here we're already making assumptions based on the fact that she's not in a plain background. Now, it looks like it take, he, goes to. Pictures of you doing some stuff with your kids like in the game oh look and she's actually got her sister or daughter in the back here so you know a lot of things can happen behind you you have no idea what's happening so let's see if we can pick out which is ridiculous because I mean everyone every time I've gone a couple people have known me but um, for some reason okay so um, so you can see instantly 
that the, if you just follow these tips, she's doing some great things. She's looking at the, the uh, camera every once in a while. She's um, really well framed, uh, as opposed to Mark wasn't very well framed in bed there. So let me do this. Let me do a quick search and let's take a look um, at some more. Okay, so what I found here is actually a leverage marketing hangout. So these guys are supposedly experts in hangout marketing. So what I want to do is just play a quick I'm showing clip for you. Which is great. You know, the more that list starts to build, the more people you have in that, the more power you have to get. Okay, so first of all, what are you seeing wrong with what he's doing? His camera's not eye level. He's not looking directly at the camera. And the good thing is he's got a wall behind him that's not very distracting at all, but because it's not eye level and because he's looking down, it kind of is distracting. So I want to do a scroll through and see if we can't get someone else on camera here. See, maybe he gives someone else a chance to talk. Um, boy, he's a talker, huh? Oh, he got his wife in there. Uh, trying, there we go. Let's see guys like Nick Strazeus who there we go so Nick okay so we got Nick in there for a second guys like Nick and uh, I don't even know if I uh, can't get Nick back it looks like but you saw Nick's got the big old head headphones right so th there's Nick there he's got the headphones and what's this guy doing over here look at his big head right so you can see here even guys that claim to be experts in Google Hangouts still they don't get that they're live on camera really um, making it happen and, and engaging. So this is the image and the perceptions that we're going to be giving if we don't really take these simple little things into account. So these are very simple things that we all can do to do a really amazing and effective hangout. So I hope you enjoyed the training. We're excited about doing our hangout with you. Um, our team is incredibly uh, detailed and we just want to make sure we created a video to help you out. So if you want to, please take the time to rewatch the video in this training and then step by step go through set up your Google Plus account if you need to go back and start a Google Hangout install the app and just play around with it so in the next day or so when we're getting ready to contact you for a Google Hangout you're ready to look like a rock star and we're gonna bring some amazing content with you so we're incredibly excited thanks for taking the time and we look forward to seeing you in the next hangout bye bye